Good morning. It is morning. Thursday, Friday Eve, as we like to call it, July 29th. Coming up today on Indie Style. Yeah, we're in the kitchen with Crafters Pizza. They're bringing, uh, they're helping raise money uh, for the Moselle Sanders Foundation, and we're uh, we're going to help them talk about that today. Yeah, there's Brian over there. Give us a wave. What's going on? We cannot wait to dive into that. Plus, I sit down with singer-songwriter Jason Mraz, who's performing in Indie soon, and uh, you know he has lots of fun. He's bringing tons of fun with him. It's reggae, it's dancing. He calls it Jason Mrazercising. So <laughs> I love that. We're going to get into it. And we're talking dorm room decor uh, with Amy Sewell. She shows us how to bling out your uh, dorm. You know, That's take it from drab thing. to dab. Or Do you dab remember that from back in the day? Yeah, you know, my Vera is getting super excited about uh, blinging out her locker at school. Yes. She's okay. Like, Vera is going into what grade? Seventh grade. Okay. So my oldest, yeah, she's going to seventh grade. Okay, because Lucy, my daughter's daughter, is going into sixth grade, and this right. is the elementary yeah. to middle school. So she's pumped too. We've already got a lot of stuff with the locker. I'm like, oh, yeah. how are you going to fit all this stuff in here? I know. Maybe that's why I told her. Maybe you need to look at your locker before you decide <laughs> how much you're going to get. How many for drawers yeah. you need? Mine was blinged out. What was up? Did you do yours? So no, I really just didn't go to my locker except during Christmas time. I actually. <laughs> we always put a Christmas tree in it with battery operated lights. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so I did do it during Christmas, but that was it. Other than that, I just, I, I was threw everything in my bag and carried it. I love it. Well, this is kind of yeah. funny. I can't believe they gave us control of the show today. Yeah, we so took over. literally anything had happened. This one's not even wearing socks. Check it out. Firefighter Tim. He's, uh, he's a yeah. wild man today on this Friday. <laughs> yeah, I go no socks summer. That's kind of my goal. Unless no I'm at the socks summer. I got to wear it with fire boots otherwise. And you cut your own hair too. I do. Tell I do. me about this. Uh, yeah, I have since I was like in high school. Um, I've cut my own hair and then I cut a bunch of guys' hair at the firehouse. You, they all trust you for that? They do. They trust me, yeah. The hard part is getting the back, but you got to, you know, just a mirror and your clippers. Do you, and... do you do your girl's hair too? I have cut a couple of, I mean, I don't style their hair. <laughs> like if it's getting too long and they got some dead ends, I, I I'll, cut, wow. I'll trim up there. Good to know when you're in a pit. This guy right here. Yeah. I love it. Let's get to today's question of the day. It's brought to you by Kitchen Saver Custom Cabinet Renewal. Here's the question. How do you feel? I want you to dig deep on this one. How do you feel about putting pineapple on your pizza? How do you feel about that? We're going to, of course, we'll have to ask our chef too, Brian, but let's get to our so, answers. So, you know, normally I'm kind of your traditionalist. I'll, I'll normally just order a regular, but then whenever somebody's ordered something different, I'm always yeah. like, wow, this is good. Yeah. So I'm probably traditionalist in how I order it, but then every time I have like something with all kinds of specialty on it, then it's, it's yeah, good. Yeah, it's good. I say get out of here with that pineapple. No way. No. I like a grilled pineapple. I'll enjoy it at the end separate. Not on my pizza, though. Not on my uh, pizza. I think we have some viewers, though. Our awesome viewers weighed in. Here's some comments. Go let's ahead. Let's see. Uh, Belinda <laughs> says, love it. Hawaii pizza is one of my favorites. Ooh, so she's feeling that pineapple. I like it. Oh, here's one, too. Uh, this is coming in from Edith. My husband always orders ham, pineapple, jalapenos. Daughter is pepperoni and pineapple. And I like a barbecue pizza with chicken, bacon, and she, yes, the pineapple. I'm thinking she'll like what we're having today. Then. Oh, this I sounds think like so. talking to Chef, what's right up her alley. Yes. And let's see, Kay, no, just no. <laughs> I love pineapple, but it's not pizza. <laughs> She's with me. No luau. I'm with you so much. All right, and then like, this is our last comment coming in from Crystal. The only people who do not like pineapple on pizza are those that have never had it. It's awesome. I got to disagree with you, girlfriend. I've had it. It's good, but it's like not my go-to. I'd rather it not be yeah. on there. I can but see you that. like what you like, and I respect that. Yeah. Absolutely. Very cool. Well, you know who we should ask about this, probably, is Brian in the kitchen. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking he'll know all about it. Yeah, let's go over, head over there. That yes, way? there's let's lots happening over, over here. Yeah, my stuff here. Okay, so Brian, you heard the question of the day. Brian Hall from Crafters Pizza and Draft House joining us. Hello, hello, hello. Brian, what is your verdict on pineapple on pizza?